I know we all say we love freedom, but do you know what freedom looks like? Well, thanks to Fox News, now we all know. Freedom looks like a big bomb blowing up. Freedom looks a lot like an explosion. Now, I know it's been almost a week since, uh, since the mother of all bombs, as they call it, was exploded. And by the way, if it's the mother of all bombs, who's the father? of all bombs. You know, it's so typical of our culture. We ch just lack an ethic of personal responsibility. The father just goes away and takes no responsibility. Uh, I know I shouldn't be uh, flippant about war matters, but it is, frankly, so ridiculous that the media has a collective wargasm over Donald Trump all of a sudden because he decides to drop a bomb on what we're told were ISIS fighters, but for all we could see could have been just uh, empty land. Uh, but either way, uh, of course, all the cheering on uh, of this essentially meaningless act because it's not gonna change anything about the balance of power in Afghanistan, but all the cheering on of it uh, could not be topped uh, by Fox News, Geraldo Rivera, and uh, co-host Ainsley Earhart, who, uh, you know, they played the video of the mother of all bombs detonating, and Earhart said, I'm sure you've heard it by now, uh, Earhart said, that is what freedom looks like. That's the red, white, and blue. And Rivera said, also kind of famous by now, well, one of my favorite things in the 16 years that I've been here at Fox News is watching bombs drop on bad guys. Now, 16 years, uh, I'm glad Geraldo's having a good time. Uh, 16 years, though, how's that working out for you, Geraldo? Because uh, we're still in Afghanistan, you know, and we're still spending money and, and risking some lives in Afghanistan. We're still in Iraq, in Iraq. Now we're in Syria. You know, it drives me crazy, and I'll just end with this. These guys all say they're pro-life, but apparently to them, a child's right to life begins at the moment of conception and ends at the moment they're born Syrian.